Security guards are meant to protect and uphold the rules. But what happens when they cross the line into corruption? Here are four times when corrupt security guards got owned by cops. He pointed his, yeah. he pointed his gun at me. Arrest that son. He arrest, you can't point your gun at someone. Yeah, I, and this isn't even a life-threatening situation. Yeah, I, 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 and I turned around and walked away, and he's still pointing at me. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, and one of the other I civilians. Didn't I didn't see that. My whole There's issue cameras gone. here. There's I cameras. There are cameras here. Please look at your yeah. cameras. My whole issue yeah. is that he's in uniform. This is Seth Eklund, a Paragon System security guard. On May 31st, 2019, Officer Alan Gustin from the Lucas County Sheriff's Office visited the local IRS office for personal business while on duty and in full uniform. Upon arrival, Officer Gustin was informed that he needed to leave his weapon in his car, as no lockers were available. Mr. Eklund instructed him to comply, informing him that failing would cause disruption. As the situation escalated, the security guard drew his gun, pointing it at the deputy, and followed him outside, warning that he would be cuffed. When the deputy attempted to leave, he was stopped. Watch how the security guard demonstrates what he considers due diligence. Fourth or three should be like right here. I thought it was, I think it's this. I think it's in the fifth third. It doesn't say No, but it's on that side. Sure? Yeah, because 425, 433. It's on Good right. How you doing? So I stopped up here to ask a question no. about. Gentlemen, I need to talk to you. Courtney talks to you. We're, we're right here. here. Okay, again, I stopped up to ask a question. You want to pull them aside? It's fine. I stopped up to ask a question about mm -hmm. uh, some right. tax situation. When I walked in, he said, "If you're up here on official business," I said, "No." Well, that gentleman up here, he's not here on official business. He came in here with his weapons and told him he couldn't have them. He had his hands on his weapons, told him to move his hands from his weapons. He didn't listen. I drew on him. Okay. Even if he's an officer? You're not allowed to have your weapons on federal property. Even us? Even you. Unless you're here on official business. Which right now you're responding to a call. If you're on official business, you're good to go. He said, well, you can't leave your weapon up here. You're going to have to take everything off. I said, well, do you have a locker? He said, no, we don't. You're going to have to take it to the car. And I said, well, I have been up here once before. 310, you can have the air. And, you, and they never said, nah. So another gentleman stood up and said, hey, you got to do what he says or you're being disruptive, I believe he said. I wasn't here. No, no, I'm just saying. I said, okay. And I said, that's fine. I just said, but there's no locker. And this is what I'm doing. I said, so there's no locker? You still got it on the right yeah, And there's film to see, and he goes, get your hands off your gun. I said, get your hands off your weapon. I said, I don't have my hands on my weapon. He immediately goes and he draws his weapon out, points it at me. I said, what is wrong with you? And I said, I'm leaving. He follows me out. He says, it's too late now. You're going in cuffs. So he follows me around the corner here. And I said, you need to go back inside. I hit the elevator to get off. He said, no. He said, no, you're not getting off. Did you, I mean, did you even, like, say anything to him that he should I told him, I asked him, are you here on official business? He said, no. Okay, you have to take your weapons off the property. You cannot have them here. He asked me if it was someplace where he could store them. I said, no, there's no place here on the property that you can store them. You're going to have to take them off the property. During the encounter, the deputy mentioned pulling out his phone to take a picture, hoping this action would de-escalate the situation and prompt the security guard to lower his weapon. Despite being on official business, the deputy was reminded of the building's posted signs prohibiting the carrying of weapons, which applied even to law enforcement officers without available lockers. In the heat of the moment, the deputy expressed his opinion that the security guard shouldn't have been armed at all, questioning the need for the guard to possess a firearm in such a setting. Watch how the situation is ultimately resolved. What's the law, what's the law as far as somebody bringing 
I understand your position. And this is just how what's, I'm the, what's, what's the law of bringing in mm -hmm. firearms in, uh, in the government in like one year? It's well, just, any... And he's not on official... Even okay. though he's on counting... He's supposed to... He's on counting time. This mm -hmm. is, We'll check all the records. You have to do your... But he's coming here on personal business, mm -hmm. and he's not an official business. So he can't bring his firearm. As long, Again, as, he's, I, as, long as he's in uniform? But he's, on, uniform. but he's not an official business. It doesn't matter. As long as he's in uniform, because... I mean, it, what if he, and here's, here's my what if. What if he just got off shift and was going to take care of this because he doesn't live in the city or close to here before he goes home? I, I okay, and then, and then it just, and I'm just playing devil's advocate yeah. for you so you can understand. Say he does put all of his stuff in his car and locks his car up, somebody breaks in and steals all of his stuff. Now we got some criminal well, he probably around. shouldn't be here on, on you know the first time either. Well, that, okay, I just, that, again, so I just came to ask the simple yeah. question. Of, That's up to okay, him. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I got this. Trying to get all the facts. He said, "Call because this." Yeah. Yes. He pointed his. Yeah. He pointed his gun at me. Arrest that son. He oh, arrest. Yeah, so. You can't point your gun yeah. at someone. Yeah, no. I, I, and this I, I, isn't I, even a life-threatening situation. Yeah, I, 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 and yeah, I, I, I turned around and walked away, and he's still pointing at me. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. And my other civilians. I didn't see that. My whole there's cameras here. There's oh, cameras. Well, on. There are cameras here. Please look at your yeah. cameras. My whole issue yeah. is that he's in uniform. I mean, it's it's, 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 it's clear that he is a deputy. No, yeah. that's like one of us coming yeah. up here dressed I, like I this. Was, I, I was told about this yeah. after the fact. Yeah. No, I and I'm just saying. I mean, he can he can walk over to the government building and walk anywhere in government center he wants dressed like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, now if 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 I go over there and I'm in civilian clothes, I have to secure my weapon. This, this is what happened. So. This is what happened to me. Okay. I was told that there was a, a security incident, oh, and I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. He's a hothead, and he's a wannabe, uh, and I, he's going to cause some issues. I didn't know what was going to point it right at me. I didn't know it was a law enforcement official. Yeah. So when Neither when did I, we. Until we came I, up there. So I came in, and I I thought you were here to. You were help, here to help, and I didn't know it was. No, it wasn't me. And yeah, you know what? I, I figured this guy's got some issues, so I'm going to just leave anyway. No, it's too late. I'm putting cuffs on you. Stop. And he comes out and he's screaming while pointing his gun at me. So when I pull my phone out to take a picture of it, he puts it away. I said, well, there's cameras in there anyway. What's his reason? He's saying that since it's a federal building and the office is up here, that there no one's allowed, regardless of status. To have a firearm in the building. Really? Yeah. What's he got on him? This right. Not, this is not a federal building. <laughs> no, it's not. This is a federal There's office. Right. There, but from there, here down, it's public. Right. This is our suspect with the gun. This pound put his gun. I'm going to leave it. What? I need to take this moment and I love to go back to my job. No, you can't go back. He well, just told you to right wait a minute. Nobody's even in there, buddy. Okay, so you That's were telling me that I'm not allowed to go back to you, correct? Sir, we you are. have. You, okay. All right. You have yeah, to wait until we're done. Take care of. This before I can go back to the doing my duty, sir. I'm gonna go back. So you can't take your people now. Hey, man. 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 And go from there with it. Oh, he yeah, talked to Dan. Dan. He talked to Dirk. What did he say? Fill him in. Stand by on a report. Get their information. And if I, with you guys, needs to call him, I'll give you guys his number. Um, and then we got to go talk to him after we're done. Okay. So basically, Dan even said it. He goes, I don't even know what kind of report to make. Right. 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 Let alone a crime. Right. 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 You know, I mean, this, other than the fact that this, this boob should not never have a gun, I mean, my personal opinion, when you, well, when you walk up here in a full uniform, I mean, I was expecting to show up because all he said was, yeah, it's just a black male, and they give no description of no clothing, never said he was a deputy, nothing. So I'm waiting to show up and just have... Mr. Eklund was reportedly terminated from his position as a security guard following the incident and was charged with aggravated menacing. However, he pleaded not guilty to the charge. In addition to the criminal charges, it is reported that a lawsuit was filed against both Mr. Eklund and his employer, Paragon Systems. The details of the lawsuit and the proceedings remain unknown. If you think this was only the security guard who got owned by cops, wait until you watch this next case. Apparently, um, they're concerned about you uh, filming and recording them, mm -hmm. which if you're out here on the sidewalk, that's your right, but 
as long as you're not inside the business, uh, that's okay. But it's a public business, right? Right, it's a public business, but if you're not there to conduct any type but of business... But I was, and okay. then she called the cops. Okay. This is Officer White of the Phoenix Protective Corp, a contracted security agency. On January 2nd, 2020, a YouTuber was conducting a First Amendment audit at Seattle City Lights North Service Center in Seattle, Washington. Watch what happens when Officer White observes the YouTuber filming inside the premises. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Uh, what is the reason that you're video recording and taking images? Why? Yeah, why? Why do you want to know? I'm security. So? People are not allowed to video record this site. This? Unless you have inside the building? Nope. Wow, what, what do I get for security permission? reasons? What security? Security reasons for our site. Where do I get permission then? I wouldn't be able to tell you. Well, if I need permission, you should know where I get permission then. No, you need to, you need to call somebody, okay? Look on the website. Mm -hmm. You need to get in contact with somebody from media. From the, but I'm not media. Then what are you? Where are you from? Uh, I'm a person, a member of the public. Members of the public are not allowed to video record or take images of our property without express permission. What's her name? My name is Officer White. So Officer White, what is saying that here? Because there is nothing saying that I cannot record inside. There's nothing to say that you can either. Again, you have to have express permission. And you that guys need to post security. if I cannot No, we do not. This is here. private property. It's private property. Yes, this is private property. But it says Seattle, city of Seattle. Yes, this is private property. For the city? Seattle City Light. And who owns the Seattle city? The Not public? The pu no. This so, is private property. So you're saying that I cannot stay here? So, no. Well, you cannot video record on this property. No, it's I, not. I, it's I, the I, city of I, Seattle. Don't lie to her. I am not property. lying. This is a private city property. This is private property. She's not allowed to video It's a property of the property. city, and the city is owned by the public. We, yeah. the people. No. It's yeah. private property. Okay. I am asking you nicely. Okay. I am. I have. I have made you aware nicely. I am asking you to leave. This so if I don't leave, what's going to happen? not allowed. Sir, I need you to go to your job, please. You don't get to tell me what to do. Yeah, that he's right. I am asking you nicely to leave our property. So you if are, I don't leave, what's going to happen? You are recording, taking images of this property that is not allowed mm -hmm. on our property. And if I don't leave, what's going to happen? I will call the police. Okay. And I will have them come and remove you from our property. Okay, you can call the police. It's okay. Okay, I will do so. Okay, thank you. Officer White asserts that people cannot record on the property without permission, but he acknowledges that there are no signs inside the building prohibiting recording. Despite this, an unidentified public official asks the YouTuber to leave the property. In response, she challenges the request, stating that the building is a public space and questioning the grounds for her removal. Officer White then called the Seattle Police Department. Watch how the situation unfolds when the officers arrive at the scene. Hello. Hi. I'm Officer McElroy, just letting you know you're being audio and video recorded, okay? Same. Uh, we got a call, thank you. Uh, we got a call um, from the staff members here. Yeah. Uh, apparently, um, they're concerned about you uh, filming and recording them, mm -hmm. which if you're out here on the sidewalk, that's your right, but as long as you're not inside the business, uh, that's okay. But it's a public business, right? Right, it's a public business, but if you're not there to conduct any type but of business... But I was, and okay. then she called the cops. Okay. Because... Okay, well, that, and that's why we're out. here. I need to run to get your side of the story, mm -hmm. and we'll get their side of the story. So All right. just understand, just make sure I understand everything. So you were here to conduct business, yeah. and then you began recording. Yeah, then she interrupted me uh -huh. before I even started business, okay. and call you guys, yeah. Okay, so just nothing else happened, that's all that happened? Well, uh, I came, mm -hmm. I wanted to do my stuff, mm -hmm. and she saw me, she started getting upset about it, so she called you guys, and now you guys are here. Okay, so she start, you started recording before she called 911? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was recording already. Okay. You don't mind hanging out with her? I'm going to go yeah. inside and speak with them real quick. If, am I under arrest? Am I being detained? No. No? Okay, so as I would just be walking around then. Okay. Do you mind if I have your name? Yeah, I might. I don't want to give my name. Okay. All right, then. Well, as long as you're not on their property, um, then that's fine. Okay? Okay. All right. The, the city of Seattle property. Yes, yeah, city of Seattle property. So I cannot be on the city of Seattle property. If you're not here if to conduct asked business. You to leave, yeah. Yeah, even though here. I had business. You had business, but you no longer have business. Yeah, correct? so, okay. Am, am I correct? I mean, I'm, just, I'm asking. A yeah, no, yeah. I, I did already what I needed to do. Okay, okay. I just, well, then that's fine. I, I just think it's weird that 
she will ask me to leave when I'm doing stuff, you know, in a public building for public business right. that should be serving the public and not kicking them out. But okay. Okay, but you did do the business. Yeah, I did what I needed to do. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Good Thank enough. you. All right. Yep. The YouTuber did not commit any illegal activities inside the premises, and the building is accessible to the general public. Hence, a trespass warrant cannot be issued. The officers later allowed her to leave the scene without any issuance of a citation or a trespass notice. It is unclear whether the YouTuber is pursuing any legal action. If you think this was the maximum a corrupt security guard can get owned by cops, then you probably haven't heard of this next case. Go across the street you now. You have my breath. Go across the street you now. You have my breath. Go across the street now. Hey, don't push me, man. Go across don't the street push me. now. Let's, don't push me. Let's go. Don't push me. Go across the street now. You don't have to push You're, me, though. Okay. I'm telling you to go. Go. You don't have to push, you to me, push me, though. Go now. Hey, he's pushing go me. Now. Go now. He's, he's pushing me, man. You're trespassing. This is a security supervisor of the Ebell of Los Angeles. On July 6, 2022, a First Amendment auditor was around the eBell of Los Angeles, located in Los Angeles, California, during an event. He was filming around the building while walking along the sidewalks. As he walked and filmed, he was approached by a security guard who guarded the entrance of the premises. Watch how the guard is about to react when he observes the auditor filming. Uh, do you have special invitations or what? No, you're going to have to enter where you get the wristband. So go around oh. this way to 8th Street and then go back there. So They don't want anybody going right here. So just follow the building. You're going to get to 8th Street and you're going to make a right. You'll uh, see the entrance over there. And they'll give you like a... Yeah, they'll get a wristband. Oh, okay. Okay. So, but it, can I be here? You right can't now? go that way. You got to go this way, follow okay. the building, and then make a right on 8th. And then yeah. that's where you're going to get your wristband. You can't get your wristband right here. Oh, okay. But what if you just want to stand here, over here? You Is have that to okay? go this way. You have to make a right on eight, and that's where you're going to get your wristbands. They're not giving wristbands that over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So just go this way. Yeah. That way you don't waste your time. Go get your wristband. No, I just wanted to get a glimpse from over here, if it's okay. But are you here for the event, though? Uh, yeah, but I don't want to go there in there yet. All right, well, if you're not here for the event, you can take a picture from right uh -huh, here, but yeah. you can't go in right here. No, no, I don't want to go in through, through there. I just want right. to... Like well, catch a glimpse. Do me a favor. Don't pass those. Uh, don't pass no, no, those I won't. Those. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just be on the side. Yeah. Like over there. That's why I wasn't listening to you because you were distracting me. Hey, you. How you doing? I'm doing so well. So the street is closed. The we, street. The the, the, the sidewalk. sidewalk. Okay. Is closed and the curb. Okay. If you want to go across the street, that's fine. Right. I'll even make a, a deal with you if you want to go to the corner on the other side of that tree or something. All the way over there. Yeah, I'll li I can live with that, but. Folks, yeah. this is closed. You got to go around okay. to check in. Okay, thank you. Yes. It's uh, right on Lucerne, right on 8th. So all this is closed too? The whole sidewalk. The whole is sidewalk is closed. closed. To the street side. So what what is this doing here? And why is it indicating that way? So that I can get you to cross the street. Oh, okay. So you want me to cross the street? If you want, you can cross the street. I was trying to be kind and say, look, if you want to try to get your pictures from the corner, so be it. But this isn't. Around the corner, folks. So, right here, this is private, too? Right now? Oh, it's private. Look. Okay. The permit gives us all the way to the fire hydrant. That's the why, permit. That's why we have the bus. If you notice, we took the bus uh, away. This used to be the bus stop, but it's not. And so, the, the, the... So... But the bus stops here, just now. Right. It wasn't stopping here, just now. No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. Well, there was there was a bus stop. There was a bus stop discuss, over here. You, I don't want you to. I'm trying to be polite to you. Right. So here's here's my polite, and the end of my being polite. Okay. You're gonna go down there, or you're gonna go across the street. Your preference. You're gonna go over there. By the mailbox. By the mailbox. The, or across the street. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, and if you, if it, does that work for you? No, it doesn't work because I'm not going to be able to catch the people from over there. Well, that's unfortunate, but you don't have a permit to be here. So unless you want to go I, home and I do cuffs, have. I, do, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I do have so a permit to, to be no, here. No, this is closed. Don't, 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 so I'm don't about raise your to, voice I'm me. about to get you under you arrest have bad breath. for trespass. You have bad breath. Go across the street you now. You have bad breath. Go across the street you now. You have bad breath. Go across the street now. Hey, don't push me, man. Go across don't the push street me. now. Let's, don't push let's me. Go. 
Don't push me. Go across the street now. You don't have to push You're me, though. Okay. I'm you telling you to push go. Me, you don't go. Have to push me, though. Go now. Hey, he's pushing go me. Now. Go now. He's pushing me, man. You're trespassing. Go now. Trespassing from where? Go now. Trespassing from where? Go now. Where? Go now. Trespassing from where? Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Trespassing from where? Keep walking. You're going to push me again? Walking. Are you going to push me again? If you get close to me again, yes. You're close to me. Yes, because I'm telling you you're trespassing. You have bad breath, man. That's on, mildly man. interesting. Oof, Walk over there by the fire no, hydrant. No, no. Walk there's, there's to the a, fire there's hydrant. A, there's a, a Walk to the fire here. hydrant! Hey, don't push me, man. What's going on You're with you? You're trespassing. What's wrong with you? Hey, hey, brother. That's it. Hey, brother. Thank you, sir. Thank You're you, there. sir. The supervisor informed the auditor that the evil of Los Angeles had closed down the sidewalks. The security supervisor directs the auditor to cross the street, but escalates the situation by pushing the auditor multiple times, resulting in claims of battery, while alleging that he is trespassing. The auditor, in response, mentions the possibility of taking legal action. Ultimately, the auditor leaves the scene without further incident, though the outcome of any potential legal action remains unknown. If you think this was the last corrupt security guard who got owned, then you probably aren't aware of this next case. Okay, a little power trip. You gotta run out women and you got a lot women and kids. You went that way until the police got here? I'm gonna wait right here. Because you don't intimidate me, you don't scare me. I ain't trying to intimidate scary, or scare scary, you. Scary, you try to intimidate scary. and scare women and children though. This is a security guard from Spartan Security. On July 19th, 2022, a YouTuber confronted a security guard at Camp Landing Entertainment District in Ashland, Kentucky. After the guard allegedly yelled at his wife and children and kicked them out of the mall, the YouTuber found the situation to be strange and immediately walked up to the security vehicles. Watch how the confrontation unfolds. Doing. Doing good, Were you the guy that kicked out two girls and a bunch of kids? Yeah. Yeah. No. You don't raise your voice to girls, a pregnant woman, a bunch of kids. No. There's no luck. I'll There's call, no luck. I'll call, the sheriff's call him then. We gotta do. Let him know you're harassing women and children at this establishment. They did nothing wrong. Yeah, can I get a sheriff's deputy down to camp? I have some tools, so come over harassing me after the biggest people on the property. Yes, ma'am, and I want all of them trespassers. Okay, a little power trip. You gotta run out women and you got a lot women and kids. You went that way until the police got here. I'm gonna wait right here. Because. You don't intimidate me, you don't scare me. I ain't trying to intimidate scary, or scare scary, you. Scary, you try to intimidate scary. and scare women and children, though. That's what you did. Hey, you just come in here and just kick out whoever you want out? I can if I want to. That's how it works, just kick whoever you want out, no matter what. I, mean, I had a reason for kicking them out. She wants to run her mouth so she'll get kicked she, out. Why, you were yelling at her as she was walking out? They were leaving, weren't they? And you were yelling at them as they were leaving. I told her to leave. Oh, you're just security. Hey. You don't own this mall. If I tell them to leave, they leave, so I, I mean- Oh, I, you just get to tell whoever you want to leave. I, they, I run something. Yeah, yeah, security, that's all, more cop, that's it. It was a little security job. And you're something standing here yelling at- me. Yeah, I'm sawing you off and yelling at my wife and oh my, my pregnant God, wife no, and my cares. children. Nobody cares that your wife is pregnant, nobody cares- Yeah, evidently you did because you thought you could go yell and hug and get away with it. Nobody cares that your children got kicked out, no one cares. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I do, care. I do, I that's do. what matters. Why don't you go in your car where the real cops come? Mall cop, but they're gone. Hey, yeah, I mall cop thinking you could kick whoever you want out. As much right to kick. You could kick whoever you want out of this place, right? If I want to. You could walk in and kick anybody? For any reason. Kids are playing, you could just kick them out. It doesn't, I mean, you're fixing to get kicked out. None of y'all will I don't care. Back. They heard you yelling. My kids, I overheard them saying, I heard that man yelling, and that's yeah. the reason why I'm here. I, I told him if they cannot, if you, Right, raising your voice and yelling in front of children. The guard claims that he has the authority to kick anyone out of the mall for any reason he sees reasonable. Observe how the encounter takes a new turn when the cops arrive on the scene. I'm, I'm done talking. You're talking to real cops. Go away. I'm talking to real cops. Go away, more cop. How you doing? Okay, first of all, drop the attitude. Because he wants you trespassed, so I need your ID, first of all. ID that I do anything illegal? I need your ID. He wants you trespassed. As soon as we have this conversation, you're going to leave the mall property and you're not coming back. That's fine. Can I have paperwork on that? So... You can give me your ID. I'll give you my ID if I do something illegal. Okay. We haven't had a chance to talk to him yet. Okay, but okay. did I do anything illegal? I'm on a call that I was dispatched, you're involved in. By okay. state law, you have to take and give your ID. This is not up for discussion. Unless you want to find yourself in the back of my car, give me your ID. On the wrist of arrest, I'll give you my ID, okay? Ridiculous. Come here. Yeah. What's your side of the story? 
My wife comes home, says this guy yelled at her. Says, okay. Sure. I said, sure, whatever. And she goes, we went to the movies to complain about the guy yelling. Okay. The guy follows us to the movies. Says, this, get out of the movies. Okay. And I, and I said, what? What do you mean? She goes, you know about this guy here? Yes. Okay. That's the exact guy. Okay. He said to come over here that, uh, that, that, you know, to get out the movies, all this stuff. So she comes home to me. She tells me this. As I'm telling me this, I can hear my kids in the back going, the mean young man's yelling. Yeah, I finally come back here. I approach him. I go, hey, listen, what's going on? He starts going, oh, oh, you, uh, it's not what you think. I'm waiting by that, by that bench. He's in his car. He gets out his car. comes over to me. And starts saying, I can kick who I want to kick out the more. Then he slowly changes it to, well, with due reason. That's the long and short of the whole story. Okay. All right. Here's what you're going to have to do. You and your wife want to come out here during business hours. Your wife isn't here, so I can't trespass her. It's fine. You're, you're going to be trespassed because that's what security wants. It's okay? fine. Talk to whoever the general manager is here or whoever's over. Talk to them. Explain the situation that happened tonight and see what, if anything, can be done to I will. resolve the issue. The only reason you got the attitude that you did whenever we first showed up is because when I stepped out of the car, the way that you were yelling, carrying on, okay, I want to know who I'm dealing with when you're in that state of mind. And by law, if I'm dealing with you and I ask for your ID, you have to give me your ID. It doesn't mean you're under arrest or you're in trouble, okay? Yeah, so I'm not trying to overrule you on anything, I right. promise you. But unless it's a stop and that state, you're not. Okay, well. Uh, or unless I'm, I'm being convicted of a crime or I committed a crime or, or I'm in that, the process I'm of I'm investigating, a crime. okay? Right. So yeah, you do have to, okay? It's just like a traffic stop, you do have to, okay? We're not gonna discuss it here, we're not gonna tell Fine. you. But you're a trespass from this point on from this property. If you come back on this property, you will be arrested. Do you understand I'm that? I'm not paperwork right. for that. Thank so you, you have to talk to your general manager. We don't carry paperwork. We don't have paperwork. What it'll be recorded on is the dispatch CAD. So as soon as I'm done with you, I'm going to tell my dispatcher that you are, since I ran your ID, that you're trespassed. And it'll be on record at the Boyd County 911. Here's your ID back. You can leave the property. Okay. What's your name and badge? How much is Deputy Nance, 218. Thank you, sir. I appreciate okay. that. And, sir, it's just because you were here. What's your name and badge number? Deputy Alderson, 239. Deputy Terry Nance from the Boyd County Sheriff's Office arrives on the scene and demands the YouTuber's identification, threatening arrest if he refuses to comply. The YouTuber reluctantly provides his ID while questioning the legality of the request. He then recounts the incident to the deputies, seeking clarity on the situation. The officer informs him that he is trespassing from the property and advises him to address the matter with mall management. After receiving this information, the YouTuber leaves the scene without any further incident. It is unclear whether he is pursuing any legal action against the mall's security or the deputy. It's disheartening to witness security guards engaging in corrupt behavior that undermines their duty. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Goodbye.